Hey Chalk Nation, it's your girl Chalk and I am back with another weekly vlog and in this vlog I'm going to show you what I eat in a day to unbig my back. I'm also going to show you guys some of my workout routines and of course I got a bomb set for y'all so let's get into it. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. I just pulled up to work, about to get this shift in. I'm already running a little bit late. You know, Chalk be having time issues, okay? She be trying, but it don't be working out sometimes. So let me get in here and get this day going. Now, if y'all never tried these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars, y'all sleep, cause these are bomb. But let's make our cereal. And yes, all I put is a little splash just to get the cereal wet. And I didn't have no knife, so I just used my hand to break up some banana pieces in the cereal and boom. I don't like all them, you know, cocoa puffs and fruit loops and all them type of cereals. I'm more of a flake girl, okay? But drop your favorite cereal in the comments. And for lunch, I made an avocado and tomato salad and it was so good I didn't even eat no salad dressing. I just seasoned it up with some sea salt and pepper. This salad is so good. And then after work, I went straight to the gym. So we clocking in, ready to get our sweat on. But let's get into the body, okay? The body is bodying. And look at the dump truck, okay? The workouts been doing the body good. So today, I started off with some kettlebell squats. And that is a 20-pound kettlebell. And then you just squat and bring it up. Squat, bring it up. Ah! Ah, yeah, I was getting it. I was getting it and I did four sets of 15. So that's 60 kettlebell squats in total. And then I moved on and grabbed those 10 pound weights and put them in my hands and got to running. Running for her life. Just running for her life. Run, girl. Run, Forrest. Run. And then this girl came over here and threw me off. I was like, damn, can I have my workout corner to myself in peace? But nah, she cool. She all right. She wanted to do some squats too. So I was like, okay, cool, girl. Just stay over there. So the next thing I did was grab that 25 pound dumbbell and we're gonna do some deep squats and as you can see i'm keeping them squats nice and low and slow this gonna keep that dump truck fat and strengthen them legs and also did four sets of 15 so 60 in total now this exercise right here is one of my favorite to de-big the back okay it targets the back and the abs and i was doing those twists with a 10 pound weighted ball now this machine right here is called a lateral pull down and it is definitely one of my favorite machines to de-big my back, okay? <laughs> and yes, we are still in the process of de-bigging our backs, but it's coming along. So after I finished my workout, I took my baby outside to play. What's up, chocolate? That girl lost a tooth last night. Yes. Now That's she got okay. three missing teeth right now. One at the top and two at the bottom. Say cheese. Are you ready? Huh? There it is. We're done. It's out. What? Come back. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> it's out. Let me see. Oh. Oh, Lord. Come here. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Snaggaboo. Snaggy. Okay, so I showed y'all what I ate for breakfast and lunch, and now it is dinner time. So my daughter wanted tacos, so I got some ground turkey. I've made some Spanish rice and some refried beans and cheese. So my daughter had tacos, and instead of me eating tacos, I decided to make me a taco bowl. I just have it spread out on a plate. I made sure to keep my portion of rice and beans small and the ground turkey, spinach and the tomato are the bigger portions on the plate and I just topped it with some avocado salsa and a dollop of sour cream and that's what I ate in a day. But check out my vlogging skills real quick. I really wanted to paint a picture as I'm leading y'all down the stairs to my car and I'm getting better at this vlogging thing, okay? <laughs> y'all see it? Yeah. 
and we're back at it again today is wednesday march 27th and you already know where i'm heading i'm on my way to work when i get off work today i promise we're gonna do some nails and we might even do our toes because i got some press on toenails so before we get into the nails this was after i got off work of course i hit the gym and today is cardio day since i lifted weights the day prior and this was pretty much my warm-up i did 20 minutes on the treadmill and then i did 20 minutes on the devil himself on this stairmaster and then i did another 20 minutes on the glider so that that was my hour of cardio and splitting my cardio up on three different machines makes it a lot easier to get that hour done and of course we gonna do back every day because what is the purpose to unbig our back so we had to get that lateral pull down in okay so let's get into these nails this is like my top three nails that I've been wanting to apply and I just haven't I really wanted to apply the green ones um, around St. Patrick's Day I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day but I was just gonna you know do a little green just to be festive and then I was like these pink ones are so cute but do y'all really want to see another pink set pink is my color but I don't want to bore y'all and then I was like what about the tortoise shell print ones like it was so hard for me to pick out which ones I wanted to apply but I went with my heart and I decided on the green so I got these nails in my first she and press on nail haul of 2024 and I will attach the video to the end of this video so you guys can check it out it was a bomb she and press on nail haul these blinged out green nails were only a dollar and 56 cent but they definitely do not give a dollar 56 so what i'm doing right now is prepping my natural nails just by shaving down the shine from the top of my natural nails and then i went in with a alcohol and acetone mixture spray to further dehydrate my nails and then we are going to use this glue that i got from shein it is also on timu actually this nail glue is not even on timu anymore i have been searching on timu for this nail glue they don't carry it anymore i'm not even sure if shein still carries it but this nail glue is bomb i'm so glad i got a 10 pack when i did my last timu haul so i'm stocked up for the time being but dang i hope they get it back in stock but let's get into these nails they are super firm at the tip they have a nice curve to them they are not flat they are not thin these nails are everything so of course the first thing we got to do is size our nails to make sure they fit our natural nail from side wall to side wall with no spaces or gaps on the side if you have spaces and gaps on the side that means that nail is too small for your nail you need to go a size up these nails came with 24 nails in the pack and as you can see 10 of those 24 nails got bling on them which I love because a lot of press on nail sets will give you maybe about four blinged out nails and then the rest will just be a different design but almost half of this pack have bling on them so that's definitely a plus for me so I'm just sizing up the rest of my fingers. I was like, I'm going to put as many bling nails as I can on my fingers. So I was able to put bling nails on every finger except for my middle finger. My middle finger is kind of wide and the nail that fitted my middle finger did not have bling on it. But I was like, you know what, we, it's cute still. It's going to bring a little balance to the set so this is what we working with and this set is so bomb i love the color i love the bling and i was just so excited to apply these nails i did my right hand first and now i'm going to show you guys how i applied the nails onto my left hand so of course you need a nice bubble of glue and forgive me if i sound congested but my allergy has been doing a big one on me so sorry i'm snuffling for this right now <laughs> spring has sprung and it is not playing no games with me because the way this rain and the weather change is kicking my butt is insane crazy but i had to get this video out to y'all so i'm doing my best okay <laughs> so yeah i'm lining that uh 
glue around my natural nail making sure I have my full nail covered in that glue you want to always make sure you have a nice bubble of glue especially when you're doing French tips because you do not want to get air bubbles they are definitely going to show you line that press on nail up with that cuticle and then you press down gently you'll see the glue spread up to the edge of your natural nail and that's how you know you are not going to have any air bubbles and you just keep holding it and holding it until you feel like okay i can let go a little bit maybe after 10 seconds or so and then you want to press the center of the nail and also against your side walls because that is where press on nails tend to lift first is along the sides and the cuticle area so every time you press that nail on after about 10 seconds then you press the center of your nail and also against your side walls and that's pretty much my method. I just make sure I have a nice bubble of glue and then I press down slowly until I see that glue spread up to the tip of my natural nail and then I just keep pressing. If you let go too soon, that nail is not going to hold and you're gonna to have to repeat the whole process all over again. I know we make mistakes, but I'm here to save you. And this is how the nails look after I applied them all. The only thing I don't like is how you can see my natural nail through the press-on nail. Um, the press-on nails are pretty transparent. But other than that, I love this set. And now I am going to apply a base coat and a top coat. First, we're going to go in with the base coat. And I'm not going to paint over the rhinestones. I'm only going to paint um, the base coat where there's no rhinestones at because I still want the nails to be pretty shiny and even though you can see my natural nail through the press on I still want them to have that salon quality finish and I'm not applying this base coat really thick I'm just putting enough to coat the nail because my reason for applying the base coat is so that the top coat can stick and my top coat will not peel off. So applying a base coat before your top coat will definitely help your top coat to stick to your nails better. So after I painted all the nails with the base coat, I set my lamp to 60 seconds and I cured that base coat for 60 seconds. And now we're gonna go in with the top coat. I love this top coat, it's nice and thick. Um, it definitely lasts long, especially when you use it in conjunction with the base coat. Some people like to apply top coat by itself. I used to do that before I came across another YouTuber that said the reason why your top coat is peeling off is because you're not applying a base coat first. So since then, that's how I have been, you know, applying my top coat. I always put my base coat first and then we apply the top coat onto all the nails and then we cured that top coat for 60 seconds as well under a full power uv led nail lamp i will link it in the description it is by melody susie and i've had that melody susie nail lamp for about four years and it has not failed me yet but this is the finished look of the nails they came out really good um that nail glue i don't know if i'm gonna be able to link it but if she still has it in stock i will link it these nails will also be linked in the description and everything i used on these nails will be as well as y'all can see these nails are on and they are not going anywhere make sure you like this video for me it helps my channel out a lot also drop a comment and let me know how you felt about this vlog and if you are viewing this video and you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see y'all in the next one peace